Pal looks conservative and chill. And then you get out here on this court and he turns into this monster. Garnett's wanting to go. There he goes. Oh! And his size and length and footwork and IQ was just an incredible arsenal of skills that he brought to the table. Raised in Barcelona in a basketball-playing family, Pau Gasol started his pro career in his home city and then was the number three overall pick in the 2001 NBA draft. As a member of the Memphis Grizzlies, he became the first international player to win Rookie of the Year and established himself as one of the league's young stars. Gasol starts the drive, he He's long, he's skilled, he can play offense, defense, he can rebounds. He's a great all-around player. In 2008, he was traded to Los Angeles, where he proved to be a perfect fit in the Lakers' triangle offense. His IQ was so high, he can shoot from the outside, so he spreads the floor. He's a great passer. I couldn't have asked for a better player to play with at that position. I was such a graceful, skilled athlete at that size, with such mobility. He's just a player that changes the game. Teaming with fellow Hall of Famer Kobe Bryant. Bryant looks inside, finds Gasol, Gasol, count it, and a foul! He helped catapult the franchise to three straight NBA Finals, including back-to-back -back championships in 2009 and 10. The Los Angeles Lakers have captured their second straight world championship. Ooh, got it! For all his NBA success, his accomplishments on the international stage are just as impressive. Powell was the leader of Spanish national teams that won the FIBA World Championship in 2006 and three Olympic medals. It's not so many people that we can say dominated internationally and dominated in the league at the same time. It's very few people on that list. The way he's represented himself, his country, and the NBA has just been phenomenal. Powell represents all the good things there are about the game. is a three-time NBA champion, Tony Kukoc. Let's hear it for Pau Gasol. What a night. What a moment. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Wow. Uh, well, I stand before you with immense pride and gratitude as I humbly accept this huge honor of being inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. I want to express my deepest appreciation to the selection committee for bestowing this amazing recognition upon me. This moment is a testament to the support, guidance, and inspiration I have received from so many throughout my basketball journey. I've always remembered the moment that Jerry Colangelo called me in to tell me the magic words, you're in. Pretty powerful moment, I gotta tell you. I know my fellow inductees will remember it too. Congratulations to all of you. It's truly an honor to be in the same class. If you had told me when I was young, a little kid growing up in my little city, Samboy, Olio Bregat, that someday I would not only meet Tony Kukoc, but that he'd be presenting me into the Hall of Fame, I wouldn't have believed you. And yet here we are, Tony. Tony was a great player, heck of a player, man. I mean, he inspired so many European players growing up. I looked up to you. You inspired me to follow your steps. I thought I was going to be a small forward, uh, you know, but I kept on growing and growing uh, you know, until I was 20. Uh, so I ended up playing closer to the basket, having to face Timmy and KG and Dirk. 
Uh, but who knows, maybe in today's game I would have been a small forward, who knows, shooting threes, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> anyway, it turned out pretty good for me, so uh, thank you so much for this incredible, incredible honor. I also, also wanted to thank my friend and role model, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, I think maybe many of you knew, know that he was going to be here, being also one of my presenters. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. He fell yesterday under the weather. Uh, I just want to say, uh, you know, wish you well, hope you're well, Kareem, and thank you for accepting the honor of being my presenter. Man, so, so many people have contributed contribute me, to me for being here, uh, but no one like my family. I, uh, my dear parents uh, who introduced me to the game of basketball, they both played at an amateur level, but they played. Um, thank you so much for all your teachings, for your support, for your love, never missing a game, never missing a practice, taking me to practices after your work. Um, You've inspired me. Your commitment, your efforts, your sacrifices have fueled me and motivated me. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you so very much, so very much. <laughs> to my brothers, my brothers Mark and Adria. Uh, man, growing up with Mark was special. Uh, you guys have had the chance to watch his NBA career, and he was a special, special kid. <laughs> You know, from shooting hoops at our grandparents' backyard and competing already, he always tried to beat me. Um, you know, um, I always try to make sure that he knew that I was a big brother. He shouldn't beat me, but he, he did. He started, you know, at some point, he, you know, he grew up. Um, we played for our country. We played many championships, won medals. Um, man, we got traded for each other. Crazy. I think we are the only brothers who ever got traded for each other. Uh, and, and we experienced one of the most special things, I think, in our career, which was a jump ball at the All-Star Game of 2015 at the Madison Square Garden. You know, it was pretty special to, to share that. Truly unbelievable. Thank you, Mark. And my brother, Adria, uh, wasn't particularly interested in basketball early on. He used to bring books when I used to play in Memphis, uh, just reading his books, his comic books. Uh, but, um, you know, he's the only one in our family that got a master's degree in business. So uh, I'm very proud to have you both as brothers. Thank you. Love you. And I wanted, I wanted to take a moment to recognize all the players some of you are here, coaches that have come before me, that paved the way, that built this amazing league. Thank you all for your contributions. I truly, truly appreciate them. Thank you. And being, being from where I'm from, you know, from, from Europe, Spain, I wanted to give a special mention to those first Europeans that came here, that crossed the ocean, that took a chance and opened doors for players like myself. Fernando Martin, the first Spanish player to ever play in the NBA, Drazen Petrovic, Sarunas Marshulenis, Detlef Schrempf, Arvia Savonis, Tony Kukoc, Vlade Divac, Dino Raja, Rick Smith, amazing players. Thank you to all. I started, started playing basketball when I was a kid, when I was seven years old, uh, just having fun with friends um, at school, with my classmates. But then 1992 happened. You know, the Olympics in Barcelona. I was 12, it changed my life. The dream team showed us how basketball could be played. It made me dream of playing at that level, playing with the best of the best. And that launched really an incredible growth in the sport internationally. Uh, and the 2023 class is a true testament of it. So thank you to the dream team of 1992, to those teams, also European teams, they competed against them, you know, didn't do so well, but, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. They were pretty good. <laughs> then when I was 13 years old, my coach, uh, the next team that I played, my first club team that I played at CB Cornelia, gave me a chance to play point guard for a game, teaching me how hard that position was. It was extremely humbling. Obviously, I, I struggled tremendously guarding a guy that was 5'2", 
and really quick, uh, having to bring the ball up and down the court. But, it, um, but what I took from that experience is that at th those ages, I think the importance is to, to teaching and growing, you know, not so much focusing on winning and losing. So um, that's, that's an important message, I think, to keep, and especially, you know, at all levels in the world as we try to teach our kids to play basketball, girls and boys. A couple years later, uh, a guy that I was guarding, he's a tough turnaround jumper. I'm like, coach, what, what, what do I do? How can I defend that? He said, nothing. He'll be, you know, he used to play. It was a, a guy from FC Barcelona. At the time, I wasn't there yet. He said, don't worry. He'll, he'll make it to the pros, and you, you won't. <laughs> I said, OK. <laughs> OK, I guess. Um, I mean, we all face moments and comments like that throughout our lives and careers. But I've always embraced them, you know, allow them to motivate me and, uh, and help me grow. And then the next level, I went to FC Barcelona, where I played with many great coaches and players. Um, some of them have become great friends today. And, and a special mention to my good friend, and Juan Carlos Navarro, who was a special player, special talent, not just with, with FC Barcelona, with, this, with Spain. We were great, great friends and great players. So I wanted to acknowledge him, because he really inspired me to, to be a better player at that time. Uh, then after the NBA. You know, got drafted 2001. Thank you for the Grizzlies for giving me the opportunity to play in the NBA, for fulfilling my dream. When I first arrived in Memphis, I was like, wow, a, a pyramid. <laughs> well, I guess all NBA teams play in pyramids here. It's kind of different, but you know, pretty cool, I guess. Uh, man, I still remember our first press conference with Shane and Will Solomon, they also got drafted with us. Uh, my English was very limited. I wasn't very comfortable speaking what I knew, which was very little. But I quickly recognized that my, my teammate here was very articulate, very smart. So I just had to follow what he said, right? So when the media asked us how we felt about the NBA, being in Memphis, first time, the team just moved from Vancouver. And Shane went, Shane went first, obviously. I was smart enough to allow him to go first. <laughs> and, and they wanted, I mean, he was a fan favorite, uh, you know, all NBA, great guy. Um, so I just repeated the last word that I understood, you know, that I was able to identify, that it was electrifying. <laughs> Sounded good, right? <laughs> Sounded good. So thank you, Shane, for being here tonight. I love you. I'm proud, I'm proud of my years in Memphis. Uh, the work that we did, we set the foundation for what the Grizzlies have become. Some of those people that were there at that time, Billy Knight, Michael Heisley, Sidney Lowe, Mike Miller, Lorenzen Wright, Jason Williams, Stromile Swift, Hubie Brown, Jerry West, and Mike Fratello, I mean, amongst many others, obviously. Thank you all for everything that you did at that time during my career and for the city of Memphis. February 1st, 2008, you know, uh, Chris Wallace calls me to his office and gives me the news that I was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. That obviously changed, changed my life and my career. Uh, I know some people in the league were upset about the trade, um, but it happened, right? And that's, um, and that's where I got to know the person who elevated my game like no other who taught me what it took to win at the highest level, who showed me how hard you had to work and the mentality you needed to have in order to be the best, the commitment you had to make, what it meant and what it took to be a leader, Kobe. That night, that night I joined the team in D.C. and. Uh, I got to the hotel after midnight. You know, he was texting me, saying, hey, I want to come by your room, uh, and I want to welcome you. I want to say hello. I want, to, I want to welcome you to the team. I said, you know what? I mean, it's going to be late. It's going to be like past 1 a.m. You sure you want to wait for tomorrow? He said, no, no. I'm, it's not going to be too late. I'm coming. I'm coming over. I said, oh, OK. Sounds good. Uh, the team had a game next day at noon, so all right. So he just wanted to make sure that right away, firsthand, I got the message. I said, welcome to the team. 
I'm happy you're here. Now let's go win a championship together. So I said, all right, I'm in, man. I'm in. Have a good night. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. Ish. That was it. No, no, no crap. Straight, straight to the chase. I wouldn't be here without you, brother. I wish more than anything that you and Gigi were here today with us. I miss you and love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa, for being here tonight. Um, I'm proud to be your brother. Thank you. And an uncle. And an uncle to your wonderful girls. I love you guys so very much. We needed it all together. 2009, 2010 it was super special. I mean, that's what you work for, right? We've been talking about this the last few days with Dirk, with D Wade, with Tony. Um, so I want to thank the Lakers organization, the Bus family. Rob, thank you for being here with your family tonight. Um, Linda Rambis, Mitch Kupchak, the amazing coaching staff that we had, my teammates, Derek Fisher, Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum, Luke who's here tonight, thank you for being here, Sasha, Jordan, Trevor, Meta. I'm so grateful to all of you. I hope that, uh, that you take this honor that I'm receiving today as part of your own. Without you, I couldn't have done it. A special thank you to Phil Jackson. What a truly incredible man. <laughs> besides, besides showing us how to play a triangle, I think the most important things were um, what well, he taught us about mindfulness, about meditation, about blocking the noise, um, encouraged us to read, you know, cultivate our minds. Thank you, Phil, for that. <laughs> then I had the chance to go to Chicago. Uh, the team that we grew up pretty much all idolizing and following, the Bulls. Uh, played two years for the Bulls. Got to know an amazing city. Thank you, Jerry and Michael Reisler, for being here tonight. Um, very special two years. From there, I signed with the Spurs, the San Antonio Spurs. What an amazing, what an amazing franchise. Pop, Becky, Tony, Manu. I mean, one of the things that Pop told me during the free agency, and, and, and I talked to Timmy, I talked to Manu, they're, they're, you know, they're strong, right? Their pitch is really strong. Um, Said, so think about the guys that you're going to spend time with. Think about the guys that you're going to be in the bus with and the plane with. And, and it's true, right? We spend a lot of time with teammates uh, in our teams. So I, I, I just love the opportunity to play with you guys. Uh, it, was, it was truly an amazing experience, and I'll always forever be thankful. Thank you, RC, also for the opportunity. My wife and I will always cherish those three years in, in San Antonio. We had so many great memories, um, and we'll forever love them. I learned, I, learned, I learned so many things about Pop. Obviously, the basketball stuff, you know, the good to great, play harder and smarter than your opponent for 48 minutes, all that good stuff is very important. But I'll never forget one of the things that he said that I will take with me, and I've taken with me, and I've applied. It was Valentine's Day, and he asked, did you guys get your significant others flowers? And some of us proudly said, yes, yes, absolutely, yes, I'd, for sure, of course. And he followed up with, well, why does it have to be Valentine's Day for you guys to give flowers to your loved ones? So I thought that was a very important message. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> and lastly, the, lastly the, the Milwaukee Bucks, where I ended my, my career. Uh, it seemed like the miles that I put on my body finally caught up with me. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, of course, you cannot understand my career and me as a player without my national team, La Familia. So many battles with, with friends. Um, we made each other better. You guys pushed us to, to earn every one of those, all those games. Um, against D Wade, USA team, Dirk, so many battles in Germany. Representing, for me, representing my country was a big, big deal. Such a privilege. So, uh, but today we're going into the Hall of Fame together. How crazy is that? And how beautiful is that? Yeah. All right, I want to I wanna thank my agents, uh, Arne and Steven, uh, for guiding me throughout my NBA career. Thank you for being here tonight, both of you. 
by both our amazing, to all the physios, the strength coaches, the staff, the team doctors, the security, the, you know, everyone in the organization that allows us to do our job. We couldn't do it without you, and we appreciate your job and dedication so very much. All the media, thank you so much for everything that you do, for giving us the platform uh, to reach hundreds and millions out there. Um, and I wanted to take a second to, to especially acknowledge my, my trainer, Joaquin, who was, uh, who's been with me for 20, 20 years throughout my career um, and committed to me to enhance me as a player, to be a good friend, and to prolong my career as long as I did. Thank you. Gracias, Nete. To my wife, to my lovely, my lovely, lovely, lovely wife. I'm, I'm the luckiest man. Um, thank you, love. Uh, thank you for being my best friend. Thank you for being patient with me, for dealing with my ups and downs, for complimenting me. You're the best. Um, I'm so lucky to be your husband. I'm so lucky to be a father to our Ellie and Max. Um, you're the best. And, you know, transitioning from the NBA to the next chapter is not easy. You know, I don't, you know, I don't care. We talked about it with Shane years ago. You go through a dip, right? It's, you've got to figure things out. It's a big shock. Uh, especially emotionally. No matter, I mean, I was able to you know, prepare for it, build things along the way, but still, you, you struggle. And having the support of my wife throughout that time, throughout this time, has made it possible for me. So thank you, love. And to wrap, to wrap up, uh, as the old phrase has it, to whom much is given, much is required. I truly believe it. Those values, the pursuit of excellence, the drive to succeed, the love of family, the recognition to give back, the power of empathy, the ones instilled both my by parents, both working in healthcare, home by Kobe, always wanted to be extraordinary and epic, and encouraged and supported by my beautiful wife and family. They're the reason I'm committed to working to make a bigger difference in our world. And I want to encourage you all to continue to find ways to join efforts, to team up, so our impact can be much larger. We have a, a unique opportunity to do so. Thank you all very much. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias.